Let's talk about new construction as an investment opportunity for 2023. So with new construction, it's going to be a little bit easier to get more out of the property in comparison to something that's a little bit older, outdated, needs the updates like the new construction hat. It's shiny, right? It's got the quartz or the hard surface tops. It's got the white cabinets. It's got the backsplash and, and it just looks sharp. Those are things or, or aspects that most, I think, tenants are looking for when they're looking for an opportunity to rent. Because remember, this is their home for the next one, two, three or maybe even longer as far as years go. So they want to call this home. They want to, to feel like living in luxury in a sense. So when you offer that opportunity for them, they're willing to go up as far as price point from say 21, 2200 up to that 24, 2500 mark a month just because it, it, it's more appealing and more attractive to them. Everybody wants nice. With new construction, it's, it's hands off, low maintenance. You don't have toilet issues, tub issues, drainage issues, roof issues, foundation issues. It's new. It's backed by a warranty. So that's something else that is, is very beneficial official and, and attractive for an investor looking into their, maybe the first, second, third, or shoot, maybe you're looking at your 20th property. It's going to be so much more attractive. I've had other properties in the past. They require a lot of maintenance. They require a lot of upkeep. There's always something going going wrong or a furnace, an AC. Those are all problematic areas with the new construction, the new builds. You get your warranties and it's it's game changer in my opinion. When looking for, for properties, especially when you're looking at single family opportunities, specifically to the Rochester market, it's very competitive. If you're looking for flip opportunities, very challenging to find in this market because prices are holding relatively close to their list price. The new construction, on the other hand, you're not competing with as many buyers. So you can go in at ask, snag a deal, still add a few little uh, details that maybe make this place pop. Not to mention, you do have the opportunity to request the builder to add your your closing costs into the, to the mortgage. You're still financing your closing costs, but it's less cash out of pocket at the end of the day. If you're going to be looking at options, you're going to be looking at single family homes, competing with a lot of different buyers. This is something that maybe you should at least pause, maybe tap the brakes on those and just take a look at this to see if it's going to work for you. Make sure the numbers work. You, obviously, the cash flow is important, um, but not only cash flow being important, it still is a tax incentive to just buy a home. Again, if you, if you have questions, if you're, you're looking for some advice or just uh, want to brainstorm, uh, feel free to reach out. I'd love to talk, uh, just help you explore options.